What is going on everybody? It is your homie Sofa King Bad. We are back. I'm bringing you a guide on how to get the stagger style in Absolver. So the first thing you want to do is you want to complete the game first. And after you complete the game, you want to go back to the place where you fought your first boss, Cargo and Kilnor. You just want to follow the path up, you know, go through all the motions, kick these guys' ass, and just keep on going. So just keep following the path up and you're going to run into a little sub boss. His name is Jin Meska. He actually uses the stagger style himself and you, you really want to be careful with this boss. Um, you don't really want to dodge. Uh, it's better to block even though you're windfall. It's better to block and you know time your attacks well. Also be very aggressive when he's not attacking himself. Uh, the reason why you don't want to dodge is because he uses a lot of feints and he's very aggressive himself. But all in all, you just want to kick his ass. So when he pulls his sword out, this is where you really want to get super aggressive. You don't really want to care about defense because your defense here is your offense. Uh, if he hits you with the sword even a couple times, you're gonna take a crap. To you're gonna take a shit ton of damage, really. Um, again, this is a very hard boss fight. Uh, I suggest you at least be level 20, 22, uh, if you can, to before you fight this boss because. Uh, he's a very tough boss, but once you once you beat the shit out of him and his sword falls down or he drops his sword You want to pick up his sword and you want to beat the shit out of him with it So once you beat him, it's gonna open up a doorway back in uh, the Colosseum So you want to go, go on over to the Colosseum, but you know before we go on to the Colosseum There's actually another place where you could run into my boy Jin um, And that is actually the Tower of Adal. I actually didn't know this, but um, when you're heading over to the Colosseum from here, you're, uh, you'll run into him again. Um, then, uh, you know, if you, you could also fight him here. It's just another optional location that you could fight him. Uh, but I also kicked his ass here too.
So again, after you kick his ass, you want to head on over, but just be sure not to fall off the bridge when you're going over the Colosseum. So once you get to the Colosseum from the place where you fought Curets, just head on over to the path on the right. You know, just follow the path up to where the bonfire is and you'll run into that door. Uh, go ahead and interact with that door and the door should open up a path and it'll lead you to an NPC that will teach you the stagger style. So once you join the school, uh, you, he's going to give you uh, his deck. So go to meditation, go, go to combat deck, and under decks you're going to be able to equip um, your uh, combat deck for the stagger. For the stagger style, excuse me, uh, under bare hands. So in order to learn the moves and apply those moves to your own combat deck, you have to use the style yourself against other enemies. And don't forget to pick up this item that's right across from our NPC. And that is all you need to do to unlock the stagger style. So this is going to be it for me. I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay of the stagger style. If you like what you've seen here, please go ahead and like and comment. If you want to see more Absolver, check out my channel and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and check out my Twitch too. I stream various other games other than Absolver such as Rainbow Six and For Honor. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.